Well, I got a special one for you today. I had a fella bring in a bald one, brand new. He didn't know what it went to, and I don't know what it went to. So I'm going to give her a cut open. He says she's relatively only about a year old. He doesn't know why it was left at his house, but he was dropping it off at the oil recovery. So I'm going to give her a cut open, and we're going to see what's in a bald one filter. In fact, I know these things are made in the USA. It says so right there. These are, well, one of my favorites. Let's get her open and see if it continues to be one of my favorites. Oh, I'm sure it will. I love these filters. So I'm still waiting on my uh, oil filter opener cutter that cuts the lids off of these. It's been a while since I ordered it. I hope it's still on the way, but I'm still doing it the old-fashioned way with a uh, good old grinder. Kind of get sick and tired of using that. Okay, let's take a look at this base plate. Uh, well, these are stuck in just about as good as any other filter is. So, yeah, just check. Check when you take filter off. Why do I not have my gloves on? I should get my gloves on. Yeah, I know. Got my gloves on now. But it, it doesn't have any oil in it. But I don't like the sharp edges it leaves. Might cut my hands. So, yes, like the base plate? Yeah, your typical base plate. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we got some interesting things going on here. Wow, look at that. That would be your release valve, I believe. That sits in there like that. And I guess that's pushed up to release oil. Okay, that is a release valve, though there is a release valve in it. No, maybe this is just a centering. Yes, and that is exactly what it is. That's just there to center, center the anti-drain back valve which is not plastic, by the way. I thought this was plastic. This is actually uh, some kind of silicone. Huh, nice. It's not plastic. So far, so good, you know? So far, so good in my favorite filter. Uh, threads? I count five. So five threads, very hefty plate, very thick. So I'm I'm very happy that it has a very thick plate, very hefty. Not too bad so far. Of course, I'm not going to say many bad things about my favorite filter, am I? No, I'm going to be honest. Where it needs it, it'll get it. All right. Uh, yes, I know it has paper filtration, but I've used the paper filtration in this filter for years, and it seems to work perfectly. So I can't say I dislike the paper filtration on this filter and right there in the center is your release valve there we go she releases perfect I like that and it has a real spring in it look at that and that fits on there like that and she holds her good I'm gonna go after the case here for a minute because the case didn't seem as thick the case isn't as thick, I can tell. Even down at the bottom where it should be, it's not as thick. But hey, these are only uh, for your, I don't know, you can use them with synthetic, I do, or your standard conventional oils. So you're not going to be leaving them on there forever. They're not made for that, these type. Now, I am going to cut the filtration off and we're going to get a better look at it. I guess one thing I should mention is that the connection here does not have a... There's the connection right here where the, the two meet. It's a glue connection. It comes apart relatively easy enough. But one thing I notice about these filters that some of the other ones don't have, that paper ones, you know, normal paper ones, is uh, this paper is a lot thicker and it seems to have some sort of uh i don't know this just seems different seems like a filtration paper you can trust i'm not just saying that 
I'm just saying it does seem thicker than most filtration papers and it looks it looks very good if I was gonna use a filter Baldwin's the way I'm gonna do it but they're glued in to the base plates which are metal yes they are metal base plates and yeah, the glue seems to be done very well and this of course just pulled apart from here because it's pretty well they uh, let's see Oh, this one, oh no, this one's in tighter because of that. Right, this one's glued in at the bottom very well, so it won't come apart. But here's these funny uh, tubes here. They have very small slits in them. Kind of like the uh, some of the other ones I've uh, looked at. So, well, they, they, they probably work. Probably also... If anything big gets through there, I guess it's not going to make uh, it in through here. And if you look through it, if I can get it right, you can see quite a bit of, of uh, through these. So they're, oil, when it's heated, isn't very thick. And it flows very well. So, uh, what can I say? It's my favorite filter. Uh, something's got to turn my favorite filter with paper filtration paper cellulose filtration it's got some interesting construction this black silicone is is kind of nice it's not rubber at all you can feel it's not this is rubber didn't fit really into the plate as well as it should but you should check those anyways just to make sure and everything else is uh, pretty good I would give this a really good easy pass and uh, I'm going to continue to use them. My wife uses them in her, in her Jeep and in her vehicles. So, uh, really good filter. Uh, probably one of the better ones made. And certainly better than some of the cheaper ones. And this one's not very expensive. So, thanks for watching. And I'll bring you some more filters coming up. And uh, talk to you then.